I'm showing you how to make mushrooms and we are starting with the verdigris agaric which yes I pronounced the French way you just start off to make the top of the mushroom I just pinched uh, a ball of clay and then rounded it a bit the bottom is completely flat and I'm adding tiny bits of white clay you are kind of looking at something that is very similar to a red amanita mushroom only in a much prettier color, right? So you then bake the top of the mushroom and then you add after baking and cooling off the bottom. And then you are adding some indents all around. I used here uh, the back of um, a blade, a scalpel not a blade, a scalpel, but a blade would work as well or even a needle tool or um, something that is pointy and very thin and then I'm adding the, um, the foot do you say foot in English too? I should have checked that first anyway, I'm adding the foot and I'm texturing it after with the scalpel again or a blade that would work as well and I'm adding some bit of color with some dark pastel and I was working on a tree bark in bluish colors so I added in on top of that I didn't show how to make the tree bark in this video but I'm linking up um, so you can see how to make tree barks if you want to know and now we are making Mycena interrupta again I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it right and as you can see I'm making oh, you don't uh, maybe realize but I'm making a simple cane out of it so I just stacked one piece thick piece of blue clay and then a very thin piece of white clay and I sandwiched it and I'm basically reducing it into a triangle where the white is on the outside and the inside is the thin blue and I just reduce cut in two and then stack again, reduce a little bit more, etc. until I have a full round. The video pretty much shows what I'm doing. It's a very simple clay cane, not clay, or clay cane. Um, here you can see the final result that is quite similar to the Messina interrupta uh, mushroom that I wanted. Then you simply reduce the cane, cut, um, slice, round everything out to make the head of the mushroom and add some blue, cl uh, blue clay, blue paint obviously on top. Again you bake all the heads and then you are, as at the first uh, mushroom we are also doing the same but this time I added the foot um, first before adding the tiny indents all around and here I'm using another tool but it's pretty much the same it's just with that one I was not going to cut myself and since I'm prone to cutting myself I just didn't want that and those mushrooms kind of grow in groups like that so this is how I uh, put them on my tree bark and here just very simply showing how I add some some green moss uh, with three different types of green and sometimes I also made it a bit simpler where I didn't bother making the the bottom of the mushroom and now we are making the coprinellus mushroom so just start by making a cone and then I'm adding some textures, some indents with a sculpting tool Yes, I still plan to make a video about all my tools, my favorite tools. And I'm adding some white acrylic paint. And then I'm going to bake that top, that mushroom top off before adding the bottom. Like the previous mushrooms, basically. I'm adding the foot because now I'm calling this a foot. If it's not a foot, please let me know below. And I'm adding some more indents with that specific tool. It's actually a handmade tool that I bought off Etsy. It's pretty cool, but I really have to make that tool video anytime soon. And I'm adding all the mushrooms on that tree bark that I made, as you can see, very blue, blue everywhere. I love blue so much. 
And here you can see why the bottom is nice to have, because sometimes you can see the bottom. And last but certainly not least, we are making a lichen. I don't know if lichen is a mushroom, just, just I probably should have checked that before too, but it doesn't matter. I'm just flatten out, flattening out um, tiny balls of clay and then I'm starting to define a shape that is a little bit more random and flatten them again. And then I'm adding some indents all around. Here I'm using a needle tool. You can use any kind of pointy tool for that. So no point in buying a needle tool if you don't have one. Just use a toothpick or a needle. And I'm adding some black acrylic paint all around. And also inside I'm making a few spots here and there. Such a pretty, pretty combination of colors, right? I love blue, just in case you, you didn't know by now. <laughs> and then again on my tree bag I added some liquid clay before and then I'm putting the lichen on top. And I'm just pushing it down with the toothpick gently, always gently. And adding some, some moss all around so it, it looks a bit more realistic. Yes, and here I'm just add texturing the moss a little bit more and adding some darker paint to give it some more depth. And this is about it. I very much hope you enjoyed that video, even though I didn't show uh, specifically the tree bark. Um, you can, as I said before, I'm linking down below to the two other tree bark videos I have on my channel that certainly will help you to make your own tree bark and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up that would make me so happy maybe subscribe as well and i very much hope to see you in my next video bye